Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a will I buy it video because there is so much new coming out in beauty this week. I am so excited about so many of these week's releases. I cannot wait to share them all with you. If any of the products I talk about in today's video are already out by the time I post it, the links to those products are going to be down below in the description box. Otherwise, listen up for release dates. We have new products from Hourglass, Natasha Denona, Juvia's Place, and a lot of it looks truly interesting to me. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into it. I'm getting majority of the information I'm about to share with you from Instagram accounts like Trend with one makeup on my radar point click vibes I always leave the username of the account on top of the picture so that you guys see where I got this information from in case you want to follow these pages as well and of course I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on the new products coming out so first off I'm going to scoot over this way and this new release right here from Juvia's place actually looks very very appealing to me this is available now and Juvia's Place just released five different flavors, five different colors of lip oil. These are going to retail for $10 each and by the looks of it, they have a jumbo applicator right in the center. The packaging looks beautiful in my opinion. Juvia's Place do have a lot of amazing makeup products and I love that they put a jumbo applicator on this lip oil. Lip oils without a jumbo applicator are not welcomed here. The jumbo applicators are definitely the vibe. So there is a blueberry one, an orange one, a watermelon one, a mango one. And the last flavor is honeydew. I'm very, very excited for these. I'm not planning to purchase them off of the Juvia's Place website just because I don't want to pay for shipping for like one makeup product. But the moment I see these at my local Ulta, one of them is definitely coming home with me. The next product I needed to mention is from LH Cosmetics. She is coming out with three different liquid eye glitters and they look so beautiful. These come out July 5th and they retail for $28 each. You can use these not just on your eyes but also on your lips. I love Linda um, Halberg. She's an amazing makeup artist. Everything she does is very artistic and multi-use and so I love that she came out with these products. I'm personally very ashamed to say I have yet to try her line but I have been lusting over it for a very long time ever since she released it. So one of these days I just have to like dig in and buy a whole bunch of different products from her and do a dedicated video because I'm definitely very intrigued and whenever that happens this new product is going to be in my cart because if you know me, you know I love my glitters, right? I think my favorite shade is definitely the Tees because it is a teal multicolored sparkly shade and it's definitely the most unique out of the three that she's launching. Very excited for this release. It looks amazing. Next, let's talk about another brand that I have never tried anything off of. Um, and this is not necessarily a new makeup product, but something that definitely piqued my interest. And it is from Kinchi Beauty. This is available now. It is an electric fan that looks like a Dyson. I just love that this looks like a Dyson. Do I need it? No, I already have an electric fan right here in front of me and I very rarely use it. But it is so freaking adorable. I love the fact that it doesn't have the blades, that it looks like a Dyson fan for your face. Besides that, the overall packaging of this fan is very adorable. I love the color of it, the little heart-shaped stamps. Very cute. This one is USB rechargeable. It has three adjustable speeds and it retails for $35. If any of you are interested, I'm skipping on it. I'm not going to be buying it because I already have one, but it's freaking cute, right? I love it. <laughs> okay, this next one is not out yet. It was revealed recently from Lawless Beauty. They're coming out with a whole new line of lipsticks and I gotta say they look very fabulous. They look like they have this beautiful satin finish creamy formula. It says it's a clean hydrating satin cream plumping lipstick enriched with maxi lip. Improves lip condition, softness, comfort and hydration. It has jojoba oil and olive oil. Each shade is going to retail for $28 and there is like 10 to 12 of them. These new lipsticks come out on July 12th at Sephora. If I had to pick shades from these, you know, I would probably go for the most boring, basic nude ones because those are my favorite shades to wear. Wedding Day looks beautiful. Daisy Girl looks beautiful. Femme, Soft Truffle, Fawn. 
actually Morocco and Minx also look amazing I love majority of these shades to be honest with you so even though this might not be something that I pick up right away whenever I do a Sephora haul in the future after this product has launched I feel like I'll probably get one or two shades of this to try it out because it looks very intriguing the packaging of the lipsticks looks luxurious and there's not much I've tried from Lala's Beauty so I'm definitely interested in trying more from their line in Dyson News, I think this is going to be exclusive to Nordstrom for their anniversary sale. This is the Dyson Airwrap, which I absolutely love. They're coming out with a new shade, which is red, and the outer packaging is purple. Absolutely love the color of the outer packaging. I'm not too big into red myself. So this is definitely a very easy skip to me. Doesn't make me overly excited because it's not my favorite color. Not that I need a Dyson because I already have one, right? But the colors that they've been coming out with lately have not even been tempting me, you know? I do like the purple packaging. <laughs> Florence by Mills also released a new product that has me pretty intrigued. This is their Cheeky Pop Blush Sticks. It is a multi-use stick for cheeks, lips, and eye. Creamy and blendable formula. It has moisturizing benefits for easy application. And the thing that intrigued me the most was definitely that it claims to help blur the appearance of pores, which for a blush, I think it's amazing. These are going to retail for $18, and I'm not sure about the release date of this one quite yet but they are coming out with these six different shades which look very beautiful we have a new product release from Stila and it is new shades of their suede shade liquid eyeshadows here's what the swatches of these shades look like I personally was the biggest fan of the Stila liquid eyeshadow glitters and I did have in my collection some of their matte ones as well but the matte ones were never as tempting to me as their liquid glitters however i feel like back when these first came out they were such a new innovative product it definitely gave stila its moment but right now there are a lot of products on the market that can do the same thing that look kind of similar to these and so these are not as exciting as they used to be anymore in my humble personal opinion i don't think i plan on picking these up myself anytime soon and i truly hope that stila starts coming out with new innovative products again because I feel like for a while now they've been stuck in like the same old thing there hasn't been anything new and exciting coming out from them and I used to love Stila products so I really hope that they step it up they come out with new and exciting things once again because this right here is no longer it also something I noticed that attracted me even less about them is that they all say that they're sheer shades I want pigment and then I can sheer it out on my own thank you very much don't give me sheer shades <laughs> we don't have a release date for these yet and there isn't a price listed these used to retail for $24 with inflation they'll probably be like 26 at this point next we also have some newness from Too Faced they're coming out with not one but two mini palettes these palettes have eight shades each and they are a collaboration with pop tarts these are available now by the way they retail for $27 each and there is the frosted strawberry pop tart palette and the brown sugar cinnamon pop tart palette honestly the color stories of both of these look really nice but also very overdone as well we have your typical brown toasted warm palette and then one that has light pinks and some more intense pinks in it they do seem to have a very nice balance between shimmers and mattes but like i said the color story is a bit overdone so in that sense i'm not overly excited about it i guess if you're like a huge fan of pop tarts then maybe this would be something that would pique your interest i personally have never eaten a pop tart in my life i do not like them i don't love sweet things in general pop tarts is never something that has piqued my interest taste wise so it is an easy skip for me is what i'm trying to say there is a new brand coming out it is called polite society and it is by the founders of Too Faced, which we were just talking about they sold the Too Faced company to estee lauder a few years ago and now they're coming out with a brand called polite society it was interesting to me that they're coming out with makeup and a jewelry cleanser 
within their makeup line. That's kind of odd, right? This new brand comes out August the 27th on their website. They have four different scents of non-toxic daily jewelry cleaner, $75 each. Wow, I did not know jewelry cleaner was that expensive. And then besides that, it looks like they're coming out with a blush palette. There might be some lip sticks in there, a mascara, and the thing that I am most interested in trying is their foundation. The foundation looks really nice. It's called the More Than A Pretty Face Skin Caring Foundation, and that is definitely the only thing that has me intrigued so far. So whenever that comes out, I'll probably try it. I want to talk about this next one because it blew my mind a little bit, and that is from Alicia Keys line, which is called Keys, and they're coming out with the It's Like Skin 2-in-1 Concealer Tint. The hypocrisy, you guys. The hypocrisy. Alicia Keys, for years, went on red carpet events without makeup on. She had a whole campaign about how she was like against wearing makeup or not for wearing makeup. And I kind of liked that it was all about like self-love and maybe using the right skincare, etc. Right? And now she has a cosmetics line. And what does she make? She makes makeup. It makes no sense to me. I have absolutely nothing against her. The product actually looks nice. It looks like it's sheer. Maybe it has skin-loving ingredients in it. But it's a foundation-type product um, that she's now using. So I don't know. I don't know. It just seems a bit hypocritical to me and so I'm not interested in this one. Why are we doing makeup if we were against makeup? I just don't get that. <laughs> this next one is from Laura Mercier and it is already available. She is coming out with three liquid highlighters that look like the Charlotte Tilbury liquid highlighters. I guess everyone's coming out with highlighters and blushes in this um, spongy applicator type of packaging now. These retail for $40 each, so quite pricey. There was a champagne pink, a gold glow, and a peach bronze highlighter. To be honest with you, the pictures of how these look applied on the skin, chef's kiss. The pictures look incredible. If the highlighter looks this good in real life, it's probably going to be worth it. But I guess I'll have to try it to find out, right? What I love about these pictures is that the highlighter looks incredibly glowy and shiny without enhancing the model's skin texture in any of them. However, these could be heavily edited and I would have no idea about that. So like I said, I guess I'll have to try these eventually because um, they definitely piqued my interest. A highlighter that looks very shiny and doesn't show skin texture, what is not to love about that, right? Rare Beauty is coming out with a whole new collection of products for her line. She is coming out with eyeshadow sticks, pencil eyeliners, a brow pencil, and an eyebrow gel. I'm actually wearing all of what I just mentioned on my face right now, and you'll see the video with my thoughts on all of these products on my channel tomorrow. I'm not going to give you any spoilers except the ones that you can kind of see for yourself, right? It says on this post here that these are all going to be available July 6th, which is tomorrow for me. However, I checked earlier and it said that the eyebrow pencil was already available, so it might be available already, or if not, it'll be available tomorrow. I've gotten a couple of questions about this next one. This is from Isamaya Beauty, and it's a new all shimmer palette that they came out with. It's called the Industrial Color Pigment 2.0 Eyeshadow Palette. It retails for $115. That is a lot for a brand that I do not know much about, and to be completely honest with you, I don't see anything special about those shades. So to answer the question of those of you who have asked me whether or not I was going to try this palette, the answer is no, I'm not interested in trying it. I'm going to wait and see who reviews this palette and what they think of it because it truly doesn't look that appealing to me. The shimmers look nice and pigmented, but nothing out of the ordinary. They don't look that special to me, and neither does anything else that they released along with this collection. So, easy pass. The lip serum is $38, and the palette is $115. Honestly, 
products being overly expensive does not necessarily always equate to them being good. And so for that reason, for now, this is an easy skip for me. Smashbox is releasing a new foundation, or I guess technically I think it would be redoing a foundation. I think the always on foundation from Smashbox might have already existed before. Anyways, on the post it actually says new, always on skin balancing foundation with hyaluronic acid and adaptogens. It says it's an innovative, long-wearing foundation with skin balancing oil control and hydration that supports skin instantly and over time, buildable coverage for a visibly even natural look, and 16-hour color true wear. It has a medium to full buildable formula with a natural finish. It is primer infused and water, sweat, humidity, crease, settle and transfer resistant it is vegan and cruelty free it's coming out in 29 shades and it's going to retail for 46 dollars each i'm not sure how i feel about this one so i would love if you wanted to let me know down in the comment section below if this is something that you are interested in me reviewing on my channel it's been a very long time since i tried a smashbox foundation i truly cannot even tell you whether or not i like them in the past i don't remember I don't remember when the last time I had a Smashbox foundation was. The shade range is probably not that great because it has only 29 shades, but we'll see if I do that review. And it says that it's coming soon to their website in Ulta. It doesn't mention Sephora, which is weird because I always associate Smashbox with Sephora. So please let me know down below in the comment section if this is a foundation that you're interested in me trying out. Let's talk about some Natasha Denona Nunes next. She is coming out with a new mini palette that looks right up my alley. This right here is the Mini Star palette. This little palette is now available on Look Fantastic Germany. So I'm not sure exactly when it's coming to the US. Hopefully it'll be releasing soon. I'm not sure how many of these shades might be new or not. I know for sure that at least a couple of them are already existing. Whenever I get my hands on this palette and I do a review on it, which absolutely will happen, <laughs> um, we'll have to see what palettes the shades were taken from. I think the Ilia palette might have one or two of the shades in there already anyways this palette looks beautiful it does not look deep skin tone friendly unfortunately because the shades are pretty cool toned and very light so i'm not sure exactly how these will show on a dark or deep complexion however if you have medium to fair skin this palette might be beautiful for you i'm definitely very excited to try it i've been very into the light pastel looks with lots of shimmer on the eyelid lately and so i'm hoping that this is exactly what this mini palette brings to me i will of course keep you updated on this one and notify you on my community page and my instagram accounts once it is available on the natasha denona website and i will of course be picking it up to review here on my channel i am very very excited about this release the Chanel number no. one line is expanding and they're coming out with three different colors of a Chanel number no. one skin enhancer. This looks like a liquid highlighter. This is another one that I wanted to bring to you um, to see if you guys wanted me to try it or not because I'm definitely kind of intrigued by it since the Chanel number no. one foundation is one of my all time favorites in my collection. It says that this is enriched with red camellia extract and red camellia oil. It is a complexion illuminator that helps revive skin's natural radiance and protect against environmental aggressors to preserve a youthful appearance day after day. It has plant waxes and hyaluronic acid to offer a long-lasting hydration. Smoothing and perfecting the formula can be worn on its own as a primer underneath foundation. And like I said, it'll be available in three shades. It says that the shades are sheer and they have a subtle pearlescent luminous finish. The retail price for these is going to be $60. If I pick them up, I'll pick up one of them, okay? Just one. <laughs> so with this one, please let me know if you would like me to try it and review it because I'm kind of intrigued, but then this is always the sort of product that I end up not necessarily using all that often. We'll see. It depends on what the formula is like for me. Hourglass is coming out with a new skin tint. For how cheap the packaging of this skin tint is, I am thinking the formula must be miraculous because this is going to be $58. $58 for a skin tint in that super cheap looking plastic packaging. 
the formula has to be magic, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be available in only 18 colors. It is a skin tint, so I'm assuming the colors are forgiving and it doesn't say exactly when it's coming yet. Um, I'm not sure if I want to try it or not. It definitely seems expensive and Hourglass, for some reason, seems to always have colors that are way too yellow for me. Hourglass colors don't often work for my complexion. They're always very warm. So with all of that said, I just don't think that this is a product that I want to try, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll have to think on it a bit more. If you're interested in me trying it, also let me know down below because I'm not 100%. I'm kind of intrigued, but I'm not sure if I'm $60 intrigued on this one. <laughs> Two more products to go because there was so much new coming out this week. Charlotte Tilbury is coming out with a Magic Hydrator Mist which does intrigue me. You guys know I'm a big fan of Charlotte skincare. I love my magic cream. And so a hydrator mist from Charlotte is something that kind of piques my interest. It says that it has a hyaluronic acid matrix plus niacinamide and Japanese kombu extract. It's going to help with radiance, oxygenating skin, smoothness, and it also has a pollution defense in there. I'm not sure about the price of this one or exactly when it is coming out, but I am intrigued by it. I also don't know if this is something you're meant to put on um, under makeup or on top of makeup. Lots of questions to be answered there. So I'll keep an eye out on this one and I do think I definitely want to try it. Hopefully she comes out with like a small size that we could try so that I don't have to commit to the big one before I know if I'm going to like it or not. <laughs> and then the last product is new from Huda Beauty. It's been a very long time since Huda Beauty came out with a new mascara and she's coming out with this very pink looking one coat wow mascara right here. I'm going to be completely honest with you, by the promo pictures, it does not look enticing to me at all. I think Huda has pretty nice lashes. They sort of look like my lash texture, which is medium to long lashes that are very thin. And even on Huda, in this promo picture, this mascara looks like a clumpy mess. Her lashes do look long and they do look volumized, but they also look very clumped together to me. And so for that reason, I just don't think that I'm going to love this mascara. It says that the mascara is going to give you instant volume and instant lift and that it's going to be easy lashes. It's called the one coat mascara, right? So they probably mean for you to just do one coat is probably meant for easy application. Take a look at this picture right here specifically. It looks a clumpy mess to me. So I'm honestly not sure that this mascara is meant for me because my main issue when it comes to mascara is clumpiness and I can clearly see that this one clumps. I think this might just be an easy skip for me. Okay, so those are all of the products that I chose to feature in this Will I Buy a video. These are all of the products that I think were interesting, that piqued my interest and that I wanted to discuss with you guys. Please let me know your thoughts on these new releases down below. If there's something else coming out that I didn't mention but you would like me to try, let me know what that is down in the comment section below because sometimes I can oversee things and I am definitely interested in knowing what you guys want me to review. If you like this video, don't forget to please give it a thumbs up. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you back in the next one. Bye.